Hey, what's happening, people? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to look at the newer QZ a remote TDL trigger. It's the newer addition to their system. We're going to see what it does, how it handles, and we're going to take some uh, outdoor uh, portraits to, to uh, really uh, put it to work. So the trigger uh, has TTL and uh, manual and also had that TCM button. You can switch from uh, TTL to uh, manual just with the uh, pushable button. It has uh, HSS up to one uh, over 8,000 of a second. And uh, of course, uh, I will not stay here just reading all these technical specs. We're going to uh, do a portrait session. I'm going to uh, briefly introduce you the, to the um, touch screen. And also I will put all the technical information on the screen or in the description below. Compare with old uh, QC trigger, this is just a fraction uh, of the size. And uh, of course, the uh, uh, touch screen are going to make a big difference. We'll see how intuitive it is to make the adjustments and how easy it is to uh, adapt it to my style of shooting. And of course, we're going to see how uh, reliable is the TTL uh, with this trigger. Today, I'm using the Canon system with two newer Q200 flashes. For this setup, I'm using the... 24 by 36 saw box. I want a square saw box because I want to angle it better. Yep. And uh, I have an S2 bracket from Newell, which I, one of my favorite brackets. I really like the uh, color rendition of the skin with this flash. I don't know, they have something a little bit, a little bit more orange, but they make the, the skin color really good. I'm securing this on my saw box. Are you good? So I'll start with one light. I want to see how the TTL works with one light. I am uh, using the my main light right now. We're going to be like uh, four to five feet from Eric. It's uh, kind of in the same direction of the ambient light because I want to wrap around the light uh, more naturally around his face. Eric, we're going to sit right here, like right in the middle because I want to take this out. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I have to bring my box a little bit closer. So I'm using the sound box on the horizontal position because we're gonna spread the light a little bit more and we're gonna cover the the shadow side. And if I'm here on the shadow side and I can see the edge of the box, that means some light are gonna reach here or we'll have a better uh, exposure. My uh, first trial gonna be on um, TTL are going to be in a high-speed sync because I'm pretty sure it's enough light right now to shoot like somewhere around 1 over 400 of a second. I'll take my camera and I'm going to take some uh, uh, test shots. This is my B light. So I have to make sure that I have my B light. I'm on TTL. I'll have zero exposure uh, compensation. I'm shooting with an 85 um, f2 lens right now. I will see how it works if I have to move to another lens. I really like the uh, how TTL works uh, uh, with this system. I have to get it a little bit closer, a little bit. I have to aim it a little bit better. I will take some focus on his eye. I don't know uh, how and I don't know why, but a newer TTL system works really good all the time. It gives a very good exposure. Most of the time it doesn't burn the highlights and it's like right on the money. I uh, will shoot extensively on TTL today just to make sure you know, to see the ups and downs on uh, using a TTL in a situation like this. But I really like how uh, the exposure is. And uh, just this is the first try. I haven't made any adjustment. I just put my uh, trigger on TTL, and I'm shooting right now at um, 250 of a second f f2. I'm trying a different situation. This is very uh, challenging for uh, a TTL because I'm gonna have Eric against the wall, and I am almost back lighting him. I want to create a dramatic picture just with one side of the face lit, the other side uh, deeper shadows. I want to see how the TTL would um, expose for uh, this kind of uh, creative portrait. And uh, I'll have him against the wall. Look a little bit this way. Amazingly, the TTL works really good. I can have the uh, exact the portrait what I want with a very... Uh, bright highlights and uh, all the way to the 
shadows on the other side of the face, one of his chiaroscuro uh, style of portraits. I'm really impressed because I just put the, uh, the remote on TTL, I have the flash, and I haven't done any other adjustments, just, you know, I have my uh, adjustments are on the camera for the ambient, and I'm impressed how easy it is to make all these creative um, choices uh, straight in the camera, very intuitive. I'm trying a different setup. I have Eric sitting down. I have the uh, my uh, sound box maybe uh, four or five feet uh, from him, a little bit higher uh, above his head. I haven't made any adjustments on my trigger. I'm still on TTL. I'm uh, shooting right now with the Voidlander uh, 40 millimeter 1.2 lens. This is a manual lens. I want to get some nice shallow uh, depth of the field picture. I like the idea. Uh, how everything looks right now. Super nice. Super nice pictures. It works really good. I have a couple of pictures at the at the end when I have to uh, do some exposure compensation. I think when the light levels are too low, the flash is getting a little bit tricky. And also I was including too much uh, of the shadows here. I don't know, but in, like, in a pretty evenly lit situation, it works uh, really good with no exposure compensation uh, right off the money. Having uh, uh, the light in the same direction of the ambient, it just uh, uh, works much better because I can wrap it around his face and looks more uh, natural. Always pay attention to the little tricks because it makes a big difference uh, in uh, the final image. Very nice. I'm uh, trying to create a separation between him and the background. We're going to add the second light because I think with two lights we'll have a better idea how, how everything works. I want to see how the system will work with two lights, how we're going to... Um, make the adjustments and I'm going to add my second line right now. Kind of the same scenario we did before. I have him looking towards the camera in front. I have the light to the side to wrap around uh, his face. And also I have my uh, separation light in the back. And what it does, shooting from the other side, it creates a little uh, rim around his um, uh, head and the shoulder. And he has a nice separation. So far, everything was uh, uh, right on the money. I have to make some uh, small adjustments. This is a very tricky life situation. And uh, usually, in, to, just to be consistent, after I got my uh, the exposure and exposure compensation, I switch from uh, TTL to manual to uh, be consistent to do a series of pictures with this uh, uh, tool I set up. Very intuitive um, touch screen, a very easy interface. I was uh, a breeze to make changes uh, on the fly with the, uh, this uh, little uh, remote control. You power it on and uh, you can adjust all the um, exposure compensation straight from the screen. Very easy and very responsive. Also, you can use the rotating dial. You click once to activate it, click twice to be able to make any adjustments and also you can switch between TTL and manual or just with the mode button. In order to set it up correctly you have to go to the main menu make sure that the TCM is activated not the shoot this is activated just a single pin you can sync it you keep it in high speed sync but you can have a rear curtain or floor curtain if you want to you can choose your channel to make sure that it matches what you have on the flash, you can scan from a uh, uh, free channel, free of interference, just uh, activating the, uh, this function. It shows me the channels with less interference. I always stay on the one. You can choose the ID if you want to, but and sync it with your flash, but I never do that. You have five channels. You can choose the, the one you want. Right now, I only have two uh, flashes connected to the trigger, so I'm gonna stay with A and B. Everything is what you see is what you get. So you look at the screen, you want to see what the adjustment you want to make, you change it and you're good to go. I really enjoy using uh, this uh, trigger. I think this TTL system is a very uh, modern. It works very good. It's very reliable. And uh, if you are into the newer system, I think you guys uh, you have to, to get this right away because the old uh, QC is still very good. But uh, this is very easy to uh, carry around. You have the um, 
incorporated battery. So you don't have to get the uh, uh, AA's anymore. You just charge it. It takes like 2.5 hours to uh, fully charge. Uh, it's going to last you like 6 to 10 hours, I think, of shooting. So if you get one of those, you know, you're going to, you can shoot the, all day long with no problems. And uh, it's very small. You can put it in your pocket. I really like I really like the system and for me having uh, this trigger with uh, this Q200 flashes which are not really 200 I think the power is a little bit uh, pumping up I like the skin color I'm getting with uh, these flashes and uh, having a very small a nice compact system which I enjoy using it it makes uh, all the difference I hope you guys enjoy this video please check out my channel for more lighting tutorials and gear reviews don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time